Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Western Lure Advent Calendar. It's a really good little thing for Christmas, I've really loved it. Um, I'll show you what it is now, but essentially Western, really popular lure brand, put together an advent calendar with boxes for every day of, well, advent and um, boxing day today. So I've been through all of them, I've opened them all, and I'm going to show you them all and give you a really good review. Let's get to it. So over the last month, I've absolutely demolished this box. Give you a quick look into what's inside. Loads of cool stuff. But it's lucky I did some filming of it before. Um, before I opened them all, so I'll just show you how it comes and how it's set up. This is how it comes. I've just got my flash on just to show you. It's actually so shiny. It's got such a slick shine to it. And when we look inside, this is how they all come. So you got your big ones for like number one and there's some underneath so there's two layers, two layers in some but in some there aren't and then down here got a big one for the for Christmas Eve really not sure what to expect so far from all these I'm thinking there's just going to be a combination of hard soft baits rigging jig heads it's all sorts of little stuff that weston do but i'm definitely looking forward to the 24. so how i'm going to structure the rest of this video is i'm going to organize them into categories from lures i don't really care about first to things that i'm a bit more interested in then up to things that i think wow yeah they're cool i like that up to things that i'm like oh what an absolutely insane lure like there's some stuff in there that i think is really really cool and then at the end i'll show you what um the 24th was because that was a big box big old box the 24th and then i'll just talk to you about my thoughts overall so we're going to start with the worst lures even though none of them are actually bad they're all good stuff start from the sort of lowest caliber of thing all the way up to the top and that's just in terms of my personal preference so let's go so starting with the bundle of the things i think are sort of the least cool but still obviously everyone knows shad teas are good by westin but these things here these are just sort of what I've ranked as sort of the lowest tier of the lot. As I say, they are good lures and hollow shad tees there. Um, just by very nature, there's going to be a lot of soft baits at the start and then there's going to be a lot of sort of crank baits coming up towards the end just because of my personal sort of preference and what I think is cool. As I said, none of these are bad. These are all good lures, but based on the calibre of lure within this box, these have made it to the bottom and I just feel like these are very slightly mundane they're a bit boring few boring color combinations I'm sure they'll still work those are quite cool maybe they deserve to spot a bit higher up but to be honest these are just the ones that I didn't feel overly excited about when I opened the box so this is the lowest tier now we'll move up a notch things are starting to get a bit interesting now we have the bull tees. I think those are really cool looking lures. Pop them there. Just a bit different, a bit different than the, the shad tees. Then coming up, we've got some ring craws, scented. These are pretty good. I just don't really use this sort of thing very often, hence the not higher ranking. Same situation with these. Actually, these are pretty cool. But again, not really my style so much, but I'm going to get using them anyway. Now these, more shad tees, but these are crystal, limited edition. They're like transparent almost. See right through them, I'm not sure if they're going to work at all. If anyone's ever used any of these, let me know, because I'd be interested to see if they work. And then coming up last, is Stanley the Stickleback. Now these are pretty big and I've seen heard really good reviews of these Sticklebacks and actually there are some more of these in a different colour pretty much in the top tier so you'll see them in a minute and you'll see why but we're just getting into the more exciting stuff now so moving on. So that's tier 5 and tier 4 done we're getting into the really cool stuff now so pretty much everything you're gonna see from here is gonna be really cool. 
So coming up in tier three, oh, we're going down. So tier two will be next and tier one will be after, even better. We have the Shad Tease Slim in a really funky color. And I do like a funky lure. That's why they're there. And then look at the size of these 14 centimeter long crores. They are giant. Really excited about getting those on. Then we have two of these. We have an Addit spinner bait, so you can pretty much just slap that onto any anything you want, really, any big pike clue and use it or uh, troll it or anything, and it'll just add a bit of extra attraction. Then we have another one, different color. And then we have the blood tees. Now I didn't even know these existed. 7.5 centimeters, but they're so, so thin. Look at them, they would be good for LRF perch fishing, other stuff like that. Maybe even drop shotting for sort of roach and rud and other core species. But yeah, they're gonna be fun to try out. So they've been given a good ranking. So tier two, look at this, Ricky the Roach in gold. I actually had this on my tree for a while as a bauble. I love using stuff like that. Really liked it. Now next, crankbait, baby bite, Weston, crayfish imitation, six and a half centimeters. Cracking little perch lure that. Not used it yet, but can't wait to see what it's like. Then the Stanley the Sticklebacks. I just love those colors. This is the dark water mix for perch and stuff. I've seen people on YouTube have great success with these. Can't wait to use them. Then, Shad T is slim again, but in this color. And I've had some really good success in and out of competitions for pike fishing with these. In fact, I'll add a bit of that footage now, just so you can see how good it is. That color. Oh, oh my days. The big fish just swiped at it just as I lifted it out. Come on, where are you? Oh, it's there. Got it. It's not a bad fish, this. Oh. <laughs> yes. This is fish number two. I saw it come and swipe my lure, cast it out, just sort of stayed in the area. And before too long, this came and got it. That's why I really love soft lures because you can just jig them around at the edge. And if something's interested, you can still keep a really good action. So the purpose of me showing you that was so you can see how good I find my color combination to be and get a little flavor of what the actual fishing content's like on this channel if you're new. So if you are, hit that subscribe button and you've got plenty of stuff to catch up on and there'll be plenty of these lures in use next year. That's the tier two. So coming up next is the best of the best and then we'll show you what we got on Christmas Eve. So the absolute best of the best, we have the Westin Swim. Really good pipe lure that. And then again, we have another. So I've heard great, great things about the Westin Swims. These look like two really good examples as well of what they've got to offer. Then we have a Westin Raw Bite again, but in a really cool lava color. I do love a crank. And then, what I absolutely love is the Western spot on. This is a top water lure, pretty big, floating, pike and big perch. You're going to absolutely love this in the summer. Spot on top walker, 10 centimeters, floating ghost hunter. That looks a lot like a prey fish skittering around in the top of the water. Got a good rattle in it as well. Can't wait for top water season. Now the moment you've all probably been waiting for and the moment I was waiting for for 24 days. Let's see what's in the big box. Let's see what we got for Christmas Eve. So the final day is the Westin Shad Tea Slim. I'm not sure you can get a good grasp how big that is from that angle, but that's a big old lure. Really good for trolling, really good for the big sort of lakes. Maybe good on the canal in winter as well. Doesn't come with any rigging though, which is unfortunate. And while I do like this a lot and it's supposedly a really good color, maybe I did feel like there could have been something a bit better for the last day, but still, that's really good and I'm sure I'm gonna catch some fish on it.
So all in all, what an absolutely great advent calendar. It just brings a lot, load more fun to Christmas for those fishing, lure fishing in particular enthusiasts. Every day was a nice little treat opening one of those boxes. And even though there are a few in there that didn't quite compare to the rest in the hole every single day, yeah, such a nice thing to be getting, such a nice, just such a nice little touch to Christmas. And although I maybe felt a bit like the last day could have been a bit better, uh, maybe that's just because of some of the quality and everything else. Like some of those Western swims, some of those um, crankbaits are just incredible. I just can't wait to use them. And I think this costs about £135. So if you think, is it worth it? My answer is yes, it is definitely worth it. You'll get more than your money's worth by quite a long way there, both in terms of fishing lure and enjoyment. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and I'll catch you down the road. Merry Christmas.